What's up, everybody? Derp Ferdler here. Hope you're doing well today. Um, today is Sunday, May 28th, 2023. It's 11.41 p.m. It's a little late. A little bit late at night. Um, hope you've all been well lately. I have not done one of these talking videos in a very long time. I don't even know. I think the last one was in, like, January, February, somewhere in there. Uh, and I've been meaning to make another one of these for a little bit. For a little bit. Um, back in early April, uh, weekend of Easter, actually, uh, I went to stream Guitar Hero Aerosmith. And I did. It was a decent night. Uh, I've been trying to think about, more than ever, I've been trying to think about how to break up what I do every day uh, for streams. Uh, between, for the longest time, Monday has been Clone Hero Day, whether it be requests or uh, look at people's new charts, etc. These days it's just Uber requests and it's easy to just set that up, so I just do that. Um, and then I was thinking recently, like, what do I do on the weekends? So I've had, like, you know, I've had, like, a list of, like, quote-unquote variety ideas or just like you know out of the ordinary activities for the stream that i could do and then i'll just like pull up random.org and have it pick a random activity anyway that night it was guitar Hero aerosmith so i did that and i don't know what possessed me to want to stream it on tiktok at the same time um but i i did i used my phone because up till then that's my that was my only option to do so uh, and I had done TikTok streaming before, of just my phone pointed at the screen while I play Clone Hero and stuff. But tonight I'm like, or that night I was like, let's uh, let's stream on Twitch while I must have seen somebody do this, um, or I don't know why I would have had this idea, but I was just like, let's just point my phone at the TV while I play. They'll hear me talking to chat. They'll think, hey, let's go to Twitch. You know what I mean? Just just an experimental thing that night is what I wanted to try. And uh, I saw that when I went to the live, to like start a live broadcast, one of the options was live studio. And I'm like, what's this? And apparently once you hit 3,000 followers, I think, on TikTok, they give you the access to the live studio program for your PC. Uh, and it's basically just like an OBS type of program, but for streaming on TikTok. And uh, I thought, oh, that's cool. I'll have to try that out later tonight. So I did my GH Aerosmith stream. It was whatever. It was it was fine. It's 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 a game you can get through in one night. You know what I mean? Uh, but later that night, I thought, let's do a test stream of I'll just play Clone Hero or whatever for like an hour, half hour, whatever, just to test things out. And it was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. Uh, there. At, 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 at one point, there was, like, over a thousand people watching, like, and it averaged around, like, three, four, five hundred people watching at any given time, and uh, got lots and lots and lots and lots of new followers, and lots of support and subscriptions and all this crazy stuff that comes with having a stream that's insanely, you know, popping off, as they say. And uh, from then, I had the bug. I had the bug to stream on TikTok all the time. <laughs> Because it's like, whoa, this is crazy. Uh, and, you know, it's been... Here it's brown. It's been um, over a month, almost probably two months, pretty soon here. We're almost in June already. Um, and I've met so many new friends streaming on TikTok. I even have one of our newest moderators is someone I met on TikTok very recently. Uh, so to say that things are... To say that things have changed... Um, with the whole streaming and my attitude towards it and my feelings about it towards the future, uh, it's it's drastically uh, different, I think. I mean, it's mostly, you know, I'm still doing my thing every day. I've started taking Wednesdays off um, just so I can have a day, because A, Wednesdays are usually the most, like, eh, day <laughs> when it comes to streaming. It's usually the least people that come through. Uh, for whatever reason, Wednesdays I've always had this vibe of just like really low energy, just kind of, it's kind of a monotone day, if that makes sense, um, which is fine. So 
Wednesdays have been my day off from streaming, but other than that, uh, I've been doing Twitch and TikTok at the same time um, throughout the week and on the weekends uh, because it's okay to do that. Twitch is okay with you uh, uh, simultaneously streaming on Twitch and TikTok at the same time, or you can do Twitch and Instagram at the same time uh, as long as you're not doing uh facebook gaming or youtube or kick at the same time that was another thing too i wanted to do kick streaming uh about a couple months ago but that website is just really controversial and i it, it's it's honestly best to stay away from that for now <laughs> maybe in the future it'll uh clean it it'll clean up a little bit but plus it's still in beta too so maybe down the road we'll give it a shot but um tiktok has definitely changed the course of things for sure um and it's been good. It's been good. Um, I've been okay, I guess. Uh, I, I get into these weird... I get into these weird moods, or I don't even know if it's a mood or if it's just feelings that just come out after a while and I can't hold them in anymore. Where, like... And this is the reason I started taking Wednesdays off, was because it started to feel really... Not burnt out from streaming, but you know, you and it, what, no matter how much you love doing something, uh, sometimes you need a break from it, and uh, even if it's once a week, you know, because streaming and content creating is my job. Uh, and and as of this year, I've really, really, really started diversifying everything I'm doing. I've always done Twitch and YouTube. That's that's probably never gonna, you know, not be part of my repertoire, as it were, because those I consider those to be the core uh, part of all this, but. I've started posting reels on Instagram. Uh, I got accepted into Amazon's influencer program, so I've been making videos for Amazon, reviewing products, and and uh, I, I earn commission from people who watch reviews, my video reviews of stuff, and then if they end up buying that product, I get a percentage of, of that, so that's pretty cool. Um, so I've been doing that. Um, Twitch, YouTube, I can monetize my YouTube shorts, which is really cool. Even if there's music in it, uh, that's that's a really big step in the right direction for for uh, in terms of like the whole in terms of the whole like succeeding as a content creator that focuses on music games and playing copyrighted music all the time. Uh, it's it's it is definitely difficult to uh, to to build anything up uh, successfully around that. You know, and uh, the whole thing with getting to monetize your YouTube shorts, even if there's music in it, is was really huge. You know, that's been a really big, exciting thing to to get to focus on. Uh, so I've been focusing on that a lot this year. Uh, and like I said, Instagram Reels, Facebook Reels, I've been starting to put up as well. Um, just trying to build some stuff up from that. Uh, and obviously the the TikTok. The TikTok thing is going very, very well. Just hit 9,000 followers on there last night during the during our insomnia stream. Uh, we like to do I like to do these super late night streams on the weekends called insomnia streams, uh, where I, you know, the the running joke is like, who's staying up late? Who's up way past their bedtime? You know, I just make it fun for people, or I try to, uh, and. They go, they've been going really well. And like I said, when I do my regular Twitch streams uh, earlier in the day or whatever, um, I'm always co-streaming on TikTok at the same time. Um, just because why wouldn't I? You know what I mean? Like, it, it's 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 a very different beast over there. Um, but anyway, I hit 9,000 followers on there last night. Once you hit 10,000, you can monetize your videos. So we're really, really close to that milestone. Very exciting. And... Yeah, it's, I remember back in 2021, when I was just a Rocksmith streamer, like I didn't even stream Clone Hero or anything else, uh, I was just a Rocksmith dude for a little while, like early 2021, like first few months, uh, up until like, I don't know, March, April or so, uh, and I remember, I remember some really, really big success from those days, uh, and and then after a while, I started to feel a little bit of imposter syndrome, as it's called, where where you feel like you don't deserve the success you're getting, or you feel like it's all like a mistake or something. You know what I mean? Like you feel like you 
didn't actually earn the success you're receiving or, or whatever positive things are happening to you it feels not genuine or like oh they're gonna find they're gonna find out that you know what i mean like it's just these stupid thoughts in your head uh and i remember i remember going through that in early 2021 when things were starting to get really good and i don't want that to happen again with this tiktok stuff i've had some days where i feel really weird about how good things have been uh my my brain definitely goes in the direction of oh things are good how long till it doesn't you know and i hate that I, I hate that i think that way i really do but that's how it goes and i always got to fight against it too you know what i mean <laughs> I envy people who, and I don't even know if anybody is even like this, but in my mind I envy the hypothetical person in my head who can just go with the flow, roll with the punches, you know what I mean? And and just just take every day as it is, and don't add any of your own insecurities and fears as as like all these just gross, huge, thick layers on top of anything that happens to you. You know what I mean? I, I, I envy people who can just live and who can just, who don't have to always fight against their natural instincts and feelings and can just live and they're, they're fine and they're happy. Um, but yeah, I don't know where I'm going with that. I go up on these tangents, but yeah, I, I'm really grateful for how the TikTok stuff is going and I hope I don't get into those imposter syndrome feelings again uh i've like i said i've been taking wednesdays off uh i might start taking sundays off too because sundays are sundays have their own monotone vibe as well i don't know how to put it but usually usually mondays i don't know what this is but monday clone hero request streams are insane they are so hyped up and exciting and everyone's really happy to be there and it's really, really awesome. I love Monday streams. Like, I don't think I've ever said that out loud, but I always think, like, when it's a Monday, I'm like, tonight's going to be good, and it usually ends up being good. Um, Monday is, like, my favorite day to stream. Uh, so, yeah, we'll always be doing that. Tuesdays are usually hit or miss. Uh, Wednesdays are usually... Uh, Thursdays are either... They go either way. Fridays... Fridays have been my drum day for a little while now. I actually wasn't able to drum uh, last week because the previous week my kick pad broke on my on my drums uh, and I had to get a new one. Shout out to Mama Derp because she called the dude from... Because she got me the, those drums for Christmas back in 2021. And she called the dude from, from Alesis and he was just like, yeah, we'll just send you another kick pad for free since you're under warranty. We had a three-year warranty on the drums, so... That was awesome. Hopefully these last a little longer. Or hopefully this lasts a little longer. It's a singular item, but... Yeah, uh... Every other day of the week is really hit or miss, but Mondays are always really popping off. Um, Sundays... Here's another thing I've been trying to do on Sundays recently, is uh, I was trying to do this thing where people vote for what I do, in terms of, like, variety. Uh... And every single time I did, I just nah. <laughs> it just didn't go well. So I've I'm I'm hanging the towel up on that for the time being. I might just save special, unique things for like twelve hour streams or subathons or celebratory streams of any kind where it's like a special day. You know, uh, to just do it to do it is it it always feels forced in a way, and it feels very just meh. so. I'm not going to try to force that anymore if I don't have to. Um but yeah, I remember I remember uh at the at the beginning of this year I I think I said this on a podcast to whether it was the last one I did or just an earlier one from early this year where I was like, you know, this is the last year I'm going to be really really putting my all into this full-time content creating thing. And if if we get to the end of 2023 and it doesn't it doesn't seem like it's gonna you know support me fully to where I could support myself on my own doing it, um, probably gonna not throw in the towel, but definitely not put all my 
uh, focus into it anymore because I'm to the point now where like this is such a big part of who I am that I'll I'll probably if if I have to give it up then I might just like take a really long break for a while or just quit <laughs> and then come back if I am ever in the mood you know uh but it's such a big part of who I am that like and it takes up so much of my time that I'll probably just I know that I'll feel like I'm not making any progress with it if I have to focus on you know, having another job, I, I, I don't know, but basically what I'm saying is that the way things are going now is really good, and I feel really lucky and fortunate to have this opportunity to be going the way it's going, and so tonight, it's, it's Sunday night, and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, uh, kind of planning the week out, I want to start Cause I have a rough schedule routine every day, you know. I have I have my own internal like I'm gonna do this, then this, then this, then this, um, every day to like make sure I get this done. Go for your walk every day so you get exercise and sunlight. Uh, make sure you you eat this many times. Make sure you do this. I have my own little routine in my head. I also write things down on my phone because I'm really good at ADHD forgetting things. That's another thing too. I'd love to find out if I'm ADHD or autistic or both. I I gotta be some percentage of something because I don't know. I, I, I relate to a lot of stuff that people express online, uh people that have been officially diagnosed and stuff like that. Uh and I I'd love to know for sure. I don't I don't know if I ever will. Uh I don't know how I don't know how like quote unquote valid or whatever it is to self diagnose. Um but I know I relate to a lot of stuff that I've researched. Um and uh I feel like I have avoidant personality disorder as well. I, I looked into that a lot last year and watched a lot of YouTube videos about it and read a lot of articles and I, I really feel like that's me because because um I have I've always had bad social anxiety since I was a kid. Um and not even since I was a kid. I think it, since I be since I hit my teenage years. Because when I was a young kid, like pre-puberty years, I was a ham. I I I loved making people laugh. I loved just being just being a silly, fun kid. I, I remember I remember feeling just so free back in those days. Things just felt so, you know, you know what I mean. I just it was it was nice looking back. <laughs> Obviously, in the moment when I was a kid, you know, you had your good ba days and bad days, and it just felt like life. But looking back, I was a lot more, you know, comfortable in my own skin. And I think once you hit puberty, and you know, and teenagerhood and adulthood, and all the all the layers of just the world and and worry and all that stuff, kind of kind of enters into your brain as well. You know, you it it, change, it changes you. It honestly does. I don't think anyone's has the same personality as when they were a little kid. To be fair, so like I'm not special by any means, but I'm just saying it's something I've noticed in my life. Um, I don't know where I was going with this. Oh, yeah. So I looked into what avoidant personality disorder is, and it is me to a T. Because sometimes I've I've looked into like ADHD, and it's like, oh, I relate to some of this, or autism, or oh, I relate to some of this. Avoidant personality, hundred percent me. Like the whole thing is is who I am and who how I've felt for a very long time. So I don't know. I don't know why I'm telling you this either. I just I just really I, I really missed just having these talks where I just talk. Uh, it's it's really relieved. I feel like I feel like there's a lot of pent up feelings in me all the time, and I don't get. I don't even know if I if it's that I don't get a chance or I don't give myself a chance to let it out. Uh, it always feels really, it always feels really burdensome, I guess, to to let it all out um, because it's like what who who's gonna care? And I know there's people that would, obviously, but like I don't want to. I'm always, there's always stuff going on up here, and if I was, like, constantly open about it and announcing it, no, nobody would like me. They, I'd be such a bummer. <laughs> you know what I mean? I would be the biggest bummer whoever was, and I don't want to be one, so I, I hold a lot of it back, and I don't know. And when it, when the time feels right, 
I've noticed this pattern in me. I make a video like this and just talk for a little bit. So if if you I don't know how it's been 20 minutes that I've been recording this, so you must not be too if you're still watching at this point, you must not be too like bothered by it. So uh thank you for thank you for continuing to listen. I don't know how much longer I'm going to talk, but just letting some stuff out. Um what else do I want to say? I don't even know where I was going with anything, honestly, but I'm really grateful for the for how well the TikTok stuff has really helped us grow in such a short amount of time. And um you know, we're going to keep we're going to keep at it. We're going to keep at it. Uh it's going to be June in a few days, like Thursday, I think. Yeah, Thursday's the first. Thursday's the first day. It rhymes. Uh there's some stuff I want to do related to the stream. Uh, there's some stuff I want to bring back. I want to bring back doing marbles. Uh, every it might be a sub sub and bit goal again, or maybe we'll do it once a week. I'm gonna figure this out within the next few days. It might be a sub goal again. Um, it might be a thing where if we get so many subs and so many bits in one stream, then we'll play marbles once. It used to be, if we get this many subs, we'll play marbles, and if we get this many bits, we'll play marbles. And it was like a, two separate things. I think it's just going to be one big blanket goal. Um, so, yeah, look, look forward to that, I guess. Um, I don't know if I'll bring back... The other thing that I think about with bringing back, or thinking about potentially bringing back versus not, is uh, BRB videos. Um, I used to... I used to keep up with those whenever people would always post beanie memes on the Discord, and I see right now that it's lit up and people have posted some, or I'm assuming they have, if it's lit up, the channel is. I haven't looked at it in such a long time. I haven't, and I and I, and I I need to. Um, or I should. I don't know. <laughs> I always feel bad discontinuing something that it seems like people like, but... I don't know. I don't know. I get in my own head, and then I think... This is stupid that you do this. This is so cringy. And then I want to, like, walk away from it. That's how I felt with the BRB videos. Um, plus, when I get up to pee or just walk away for a second, I'm not gone for that long. You know, I'd always leave them up for, like, five minutes. And then I'd just, like, sit here and, and wait for him to finish. <laughs> Watch it doing, beanie here. Oh, my God, we're on a roller coaster. Or whatever the video was. Uh, <laughs> I'd, one thing I'd love to do uh, in the place of just the static beanie meme images and then I just improv over it badly for two minutes is I love when I I love the process of creating like fake commercials and stuff or like my own little advertisements like there were a few I made earlier this year that I'm proud of there was one shine down parody where it was called joined the derp cord and it was a parody of cut the cord that was a lot of fun to make and the the infamous if you want to call it that uh, making sure it's charted commercial I made. I love... Uh, I, I look back on it now, and it's it's really funny. I, I'm, I'm glad I made that. And everyone else seems to enjoy it, too. Uh, so, I'd, I'd love to make BRB... Blah, 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 excuse me. I'd love to make BRB videos like that, rather than the really stupid static image adventures of Beanie and Heebie DB. Like, how many more things can they do? Honestly, you know what I mean? Like, we've we've exhausted every possible stupid little thing, little adventure that they could be on, so. Yeah, that's my thinking. I want to make more funny commercials and stuff, and maybe some little skits. That'd be fun. That'd be a lot of fun, actually. Make some funny little skits. Because I see people on TikTok all the time making funny little comedy sketches where they're just talking back and forth, and it's all just them acting as every character. I'd love to do that. Um, and just make little stream-related jokes and skits for, like, a commercial break of the stream if we have to do that. Uh, I really would not mind doing that at all, so that's kind of where my head's at with that, too. Um, and yeah. Also, with the marbles, I think I'm gonna stop. I think I actually have a few more Humble Bundle codes. <laughs> like, Steam codes. Uh, from when I used to give those away for marbles. Uh, I think, I think I'm gonna take a break from giving out steam codes to people uh just because you know not in a position to be doing that all the time um 
but I would, we'll probably still give people like stream elements points to gamble with or something you know, for winning marbles, you know what I mean? Just something something fun, some kind of reward, even if it's not like something as extravagant as, oh, here's a free video game, you know what I mean? I'm, I, I, need to, I need to remember that I can't just be doing that all the time. We used to do merch giveaways too all the time and like that, yeah, it's, it was... For someone in my position, it was kind of a kind of a lot to to give out, so to speak, on a regular basis. You know, if it's a if it's a special day, like a you know subathon, twelve hour stream, etc. You know, then we can do something a little more special and give give something tangible out like that. Uh, but on a regular basis, you know, probably probably not going forward. Uh, that's another thing too. I would love to do a another 12 hour stream the last one was in january i want to say and that's that's coming up on six months ago that's coming up on six months ago everybody so i would like to maybe do another one in the month of june i think that would be a lot of fun we've made a lot of new friends from tiktok and stuff and it would just be great i think i really think it would um i would really really love to do another one of those because those are so much fun i feel like I get along, I feel, I feel like I get along, I feel like I connect really, really well with the community on those nights, cause, especially for, you know, people that are, because, you know, streamers have their, you know, I have my persona, if you want to call it that, I have, you know, I act how I act on the stream, I'm me, always, but, you know, when you're in front of a camera for 12 hours, you eventually just become yourself. <laughs> you know, like, it's like, vulnerably, authentically, you're just you by the end of the night. There's no more, like, there's no more juice in the tank, as it were, to just be a certain way. Uh, and I feel like on those type of nights, I really get, I really connect really well with the community on those nights, and I feel really, really, it's refreshing, it's, it's rejuvenating almost you know, to, to be on that really long adventure for the day. And uh, we usually do a handful of things. We do, like, some staples are, like, online clone hero, for example. And I remember when I did my first few TikTok streams, people in the in that chat were like, you should play online with viewers, or whatever. And I tell them, like, I do on Twitch sometimes, but it's definitely not, like, a regular thing. We used to do it once a week every Saturday, and that would, became a headache, <laughs> because it was just all tech support of people not knowing how to set it up and... I, and, and you can't enjoy you can't enjoy it almost because it's just you're playing while answering questions over and over join this server you have to have this version of the game you have to click this tab you have to do this and and I'm sure people in the chat could help people who are stuck but I always feel this inner thing of like help them just verbally say what they have to do and then they'll understand it so I just try to constantly try to constantly help people <laughs> With when, when it's like that. And uh, honestly, there's a lot of value in things being rare, uh, whether it be a type of stream you do or just whatever. So I, I, I really enjoy confining like the Clone Hero online streams to uh, like fun, special 12 hour days or subathons. You know what I mean? So we'll definitely do that. Uh, maybe we'll make another uh, original song on the Warriors of Rock song creator. That's another thing we always do. We could play something we don't play that often, like maybe we'll replay Trombone Champ or something, <laughs> like something something funny. And uh, Or we could like chill and watch people's rave mashups. I haven't done that in a long time. And I miss doing that. I think the last time we did that was during the last subathon back in September, you know? So, that'd be fun to do again. Uh, and yeah, that's just kind of my kind of my thoughts, I guess. Um, I hope everyone is doing well. I've, uh, I just kind of dumped a lot on you verbally. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, the world is, the world feels really just not okay. <laughs> and I don't know if it's because I'm an adult now. I've been an adult for 10 years, but I don't know if it's because I'm an adult and I, I pay attention to this stuff and it and it affects me mentally to see how we're all treating each other and, and, and not letting each other exist for who we naturally are and just the the constant bickering and no one can agree on anything and everyone's just we're, we're just constantly hurting each other every day and, and it's just sad <laughs> physically and mentally we're all just hurting each other every day and it makes me sad 
and even me sometimes i get really short not really short but sometimes i get short with people in the chat and i and and uh, and i want to say sorry about that too cuz you know sometimes sometimes people i don't know the the most frustration i get is when and this is stupid, I know, in the grand scheme of things, it's stupid, but when someone requests something that's not in the game I'm playing, that's why I made that Make Sure It's Charted video back way back when, because it's true. Um, I don't know how people... Or if they... Because last night I streamed Clone Hero on TikTok, and whenever you do that, there's always people that say, play real guitar, why don't you play the real thing? And I love that I know how to play the real guitar, because I can say who wants to tell him <laughs> when someone says that, you know what I mean? Uh, and last night I'm like, look behind me. There's there there real instruments right there. And sometimes I sometimes I get in this place where I just like go off. Or not go off necessarily, but I just kind of a, a lot of words come out. A lot of words come out. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I need to shave. Jesus. A lot of words come out, and I'm like, I hope you look both ways before you cross the street. How are you so oblivious to your surroundings and what you're looking at? You know what I mean? And that extends also to people who, when I explain to them to check the list of songs that are available in the game I'm playing that day, and then they just request whatever they can think of without any regard for checking. And then I say, do I have that chart? And they say, I don't know, do you? Probably. And then I have to go, man, if only there were a way to check, huh? And then they get mad at me and they leave. But honestly, if you're that, if you're that, like, oblivious and not wanting to take two seconds, then goodbye. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> That gets that gets to me. As someone who does requests every single day, you know, you, you have your little annoyances that build up over time, and that's that's the biggest one. That's not that's honestly the only one. Um, if you're new and you don't understand the song request bot, we'll take the time to explain it to you. You know what I mean? If I have to tell you the same thing five times, and you have no you 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 clearly have no intention of. Um, holding on to this information and and remembering it for next time then i i'm done <laughs> goodbye um i and, and yeah it's yeah so that's where i'm at with that where how did i get onto that how did i get onto that subject just now i don't even know i honestly don't even know um i was i was talking about how weird the world feels these days and then i guess i got onto annoyances with people on the stream but for the most part i love i love streaming so much that i'm that i'm dedicating everything to it i love it despite all the annoyances and and everything, the little day-to-day -day hiccups, or or the things that get to me, or people saying stuff that I don't like, and stuff like that. I love it. I really do. From the bottom of my heart, I love it. I've been... I've, I've been a recluse for most of my life. I've been a recluse. I... I'm alone in my room a lot of the time, even growing up, even growing up as a kid, you know, sometimes a friend would come over, sometimes. Once in a, it felt like a special event, it was once in a blue moon, when a friend would come over, or I would go to someone else's house for a sleepover, a birthday party, etc. It was, it's always felt like a special event, or like a, a big thing, because it's so rare for me, um, I've always been a real, just alone person, and I'm not sad, and it's not like a bad thing to me. For me, a lot of it is, I feel really, I feel really separate from the rest of the world. Even when I was in school, and when I had a job outside of my house, I've, I always, and maybe everyone feels this way, I'm just expressing how, I'm just expressing 
what I've always felt inside. I've always felt so just different. I've always just gone through life feeling so just not right compared to everyone else. <laughs> I've always been such a an outsider looking in. See, I know that this is not a unique thing because that's like a common phrase, an outsider looking in. I've always felt that way. It's not special. I know that. I'm aware that I'm just another person who was just born for no reason. I'm just here in this body. I don't know why. Um, and one day I won't be in this body anymore, and who knows where I'll be after that. Nobody knows what happens afterwards. Um, who knows what happens? I'm just here for no reason, and I can look around, I can pick up my hands, I can move my feet. I don't know why I'm here inside of this, but I am. And with this brain, um, and I've always felt really just not like I don't like I don't belong I don't know if it's that but that's the words that were just coming out um, and when I stream when I when I notice people who come in every single day who always ask how I'm doing and I can ask how they're doing and if I make them laugh if I can play them a song they really like or something it uh honestly when i think about it it makes me really happy and i feel like i have that connection with people that i norm that i historically didn't feel a whole lot of you know and there's even some days with streaming where i'm like god i just don't belong with other humans <laughs> if it's a bad day or whatever right but like the really good days the really good days are what keep me going honestly the really 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 good days uh, remind me of why I enjoy doing this at all. And uh, it's important to have these moments to reflect. It's important to have these moments to really, really think about what you're doing. Because it's easy to go through the motions of every day and not think about what's going on. But, I don't know, days like today I just feel really reflective. And uh, just, it's just a bit, all of it's on my mind. All of it's on my mind. And... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how many of you are going to watch this much of it. It's been almost 40 minutes. I don't even care. I don't care how long this goes on for. I'm just going to talk until it feels like I, I should stop. But, uh, yeah. I, I, I love streaming. It's the, it's the one thing in my life where I've felt like... Or it feels like this is something I should do. It feels right. It always feels right. On a really good night, I feel... I'm not even on cloud 9, I'm on cloud 10. You know? It feels it feels right when I do it. I love uh, playing songs for people. I love making people laugh. Even if it's a bad day, I try to crack a joke once in a while, make a stupid pun, even if it doesn't work at all. I love making puns that barely work by like a shred of a syllable. I love puns that may, may like, make you like think really hard. Like, does that work? And then when it, you connect it, you're like, "That's so stupid. Where? How did you do that? Why are you like that?" I like puns that give me that feeling. <laughs> or when someone says a pun to me, it gives me that feeling. Like, that's not who are you? You know what I mean? So I live for those moments. I live for those just funny moments. Where I feel like I'm actually connecting with another person. You know what I mean? Because uh, I've... I, I don't want it to sound like, Oh, I don't get that ever. It's like, I. it's my fault that I'm such a such a hermit or whatever. You know, I know that. Um, but... I don't know. It's my comfort zone to, to be alone a lot of the time. And I think it's because I feel like I don't belong when I'm out in the world. I have a really hard time being myself with uh, with other physical people around. Or even if I just like voice chat on Discord with somebody, I feel so gross and not correct. Like, I don't like that about me. But when I'm streaming, and I have all these names in chat that are laughing, saying, What's up, Derp? How you doing, buddy? Hope you're having a good day. And I can say the same thing back to them. It really does... Um, 
make this whole experience worth it. So just want to say thank you to everybody. Um, if you listen to this whole thing at this point, uh, every, every single one of you, whether you're new from TikTok or if you just found me on Twitch or YouTube or wherever, or if you've known me for years and you enjoy the, the stuff I do on a regular basis, it, just know that it all means the gosh dang world. And, uh, yeah, we're giving it, we're, we're giving it our all this year. That's for sure. I feel like I'm more locked into it now than I've ever been. And, uh, I've, 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 I've I feel like I know it's going to pay off. I know it is because it has to, no, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> it has to, but I just feel like it is. So if, if you feel that way too, then you know, cool. I appreciate it. I, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. So I guess, I guess that's it. Uh, until six months from now, and I feel like making another one of these talks, uh, this is nice. This is nice. It really is. So thank you for listening. If you have anything you want to say in the, in the comments or whatever, feel free. Or if you want to hit me up on Discord or whatever, DMs, you can always talk to me or whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Hope to see you. Hope to see you somewhere. Whether it be in streams, comments, Discord, whatever. Um, I'm here for you, uh, and I appreciate how much you've been there for me. So, uh, until next time, everybody, be good to yourselves, be good to each other. I love you all a freaking bunch, and I hope we can see each other again soon. That's it. That's all I gotta say. Have a good, have a good one, everybody.